The exercises in this video are designed to help you pass the lunge with spinal extension test. So our first exercise is gonna be shoulder cars. I want you to pretend that you have a marker attached to your middle finger. Use that marker to draw the biggest circle you possibly can while only moving from your shoulder. I want you to push yourself, but I don't want you to push into pain that's above a three out of 10. If the body weight version is too easy for you, try adding weight. Start with a 2.5 pound weight. When that gets easy, add a little bit more weight. Next, we're gonna work on shoulder flexion. Bring your arm straight up as far as you can. Once you've hit that barrier, push your hand into the wall as hard as you comfortably can. Do that for three to five seconds, then try to go a little bit deeper into the stretch. After that, I want you to try to lift your hand off of the wall. It's okay if it doesn't move, it's the effort that counts. And then sink further into the stretch again. You're gonna repeat that sequence of pushing into the wall, stretching, lifting off the wall, stretching, until your time limit is up. Next, we're gonna do pails and rails for hip extension. You're gonna tuck your pelvis back like you're tipping a bowl backwards. And then you're gonna shift forward until you feel a stretch in the front of your leg. And now I am driving my knee down and forward. So kind of at a 45 degree angle into the ground. Then I'm gonna try to extend my foot backwards but because my knee is planted, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna shift forwards. Another way to think of that is to contract your glutes and hamstrings as hard as you possibly can. You're gonna do this pushing of your knee into the ground and the contracting of your glutes and hamstrings for three to five seconds. Do it at an intensity that is difficult but doesn't cause anything above a three out of 10 pain. And then you're gonna go deeper into the stretch. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna sound a bit like a broken record. We're doing pails and rails for hip flexion now. You're gonna go as deep as you can into the stretch. Then you're gonna push your heels into the barbell or whatever surface you're using as hard as you comfortably can. And then you're gonna try to lift them away from the barbell as hard as you possibly can. Again, only moving from the hips. Try not to move from your back. And then I'm scooting a little bit closer so that I can get deeper into the stretch. Repeat that sequence until the two minutes are up. Then the last exercise we're gonna do is just practicing the test. So set up those weight markers. Put your front foot right behind the front weight marker and your back foot right in front of the back weight marker. Bring your hands above your head and lean back as far as you possibly can, trying to get those shoulders at least halfway to your knee. You can do this routine anywhere from four to seven days a week. Just listen to your body. If you're feeling really sore, back off a little bit. If you feel like you can push a little harder, then push a little harder.